So once we have uh, chosen our evaluative criteria, we have to operationalize them. So, so you know that in research methods, you have to operationalize your variables, right? Um, when we are doing a, a kind of scientific study, um, we might choose variables. We've got our independent variable and our dependent variable, and we've got to see what the interactions between them are. Um, but we have to define those variables down to a point where we can take a measurement, right? It's, and that's called operationalizing our variables. We do the same thing with evaluative criteria. Um, we, we kind of narrow them down and define them down to a point that we could measure. Um, it doesn't always have to be a quantitative measure. Quantitative measures are helpful because numbers are numbers and five is always more than four. Um, and, and everyone kind of can look at that and understand what that means. We might choose effectiveness, right, as our pol as, our, as one of our evaluative criteria. Um, and effectiveness on its own just means, right, the likelihood that a po given policy solution will achieve the desired result. Um, when we go to apply it, we have to define that in terms of our particular problem. Uh, and we would use our goals and our objectives, right, as part of that definition. You know, if we are are dealing with the uh, the school lunch issue, um, we would and, and we want to reduce hunger in schools. Uh, we could operationalize that in a couple of different ways, but we do have to define exactly what we mean, um, so that anyone looking at our report will know what we were looking for. Um, so we could define effectiveness in this case as reducing the number of youth who report hunger on regular surveys. Um, we could reduce the proportion of youth who self-report uh, hunger on, on regular surveys. So minor difference, but very important difference, right? So it's the number, the raw number versus the proportion. Or, right, we could uh, measure effectiveness as increasing the number of in-school breakfasts and lunches served, um, right? Looking at different things, all related to hunger in schools, um, but but very different definitions, and we would measure them in different ways. Um, there's not necessarily a right or wrong, uh, but it should be very, very closely related to your, your policy objective. You're going to kind of do this uh, in a little bit of a back and forth way, right? Because it's not necessarily going to be a completely linear process for you because you need to know, you need to be aware of what data sets, right? What data points are going to be available to you for your analysis. So you might have to, you know, come up with an idea, okay, effectiveness, and then look at, okay, well, how are other relevant studies uh, defining effectiveness for this problem? Uh, but also, what what data is available about this problem that I can use um, to to gauge the effectiveness, uh, you know, to gauge effectiveness for, of potential solutions? Um, because if you define it a specific way and there's no data to inform your analysis, you're not going to be able to do your analysis.